let's talk about the state, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about all the good things and the bad things that make we. Let's talk about the state. So, this is kind of a response to Bitbutter's video about um, atheisms. Atheisms? What? Atheists. Let's talk about the state. Um, and I think it's kind of a cool thing to talk about. I think it's a good thing, a good idea. Um, not only does it bring up subjects about, you know, the validity of government and the state and so on and so forth, but, uh, you know, about separation of church and state and things like that and so on and so forth. There's, there's, there's many ways we can take this discussion, and I think it would be very interesting. But let's talk, let's focus on, on one thing. I'm going to state ahead of time, number one, that I'm kind of an idiot and I don't really... I'm not very well read, and I'm certainly not one of the very intelligent atheists that Bitbutter wishes a response from. Also, this video was posted quite a while ago, a million years in YouTube time, and I um, just haven't had the time to do the response, even though I wanted to right away. And um, so those are my disclaimers uh, for, for the, uh, the beginning of this. Um, this offer is only valid in 49 states. Sorry, Tennessee. Um, after I'm done hitting the mic with my coffee cup, um, I'm going to talk about the state here. And one of the problems that I had right off the bat with Bitbutter's video, your video, uh, if I guess if I'm responding to you directly here, um, I need to stop doing that when I'm talking about third person pe Anyway, um, the problem that I had with it was that you were, right off the bat, you throw in a definition of the state, which is uh, imposing rules on others, in a geographical location by using force and um, or violence or ultimately death really uh, and I hear that kind of definition a lot where people like point to the American government and say look their their ultimate enforcement of their rules is death in a stateless society we would not have that but the fact of the matter is that you would because when you want to threaten someone what is your what what recourse do you have but to threaten what they value and what is the ultimate value but your own life your own safety if you have no concern for your own safety and your own life then obviously there is no recourse this happens all the time where people want want to kill themselves when they get jailed for their whatever and, and, and become martyrs or or so on and so forth. People who don't care about their own lives as much as they care about something else. And in fact, we often praise these people. Um, saying, you know, I'll lay down my life for freedom or something like that. I myself um, feel that freedom is, 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 the, is, is greater than life um, and, and has more ultimate meaning, but I also view that just allowing myself to die for the cause of freedom um, will not help to further freedom in the future just it, it's it's kind of a ludicrous proposition so I still end up valuing my own life more than I would value freedom um, but as far as qualities of life go freedom to me is the ultimate thing so so the argument that um, the state imposes force on others or imposes its rules on others by using force doesn't carry much weight with me it has no value to me because the same argument could be made in a stateless society um, to me freedom is the thing because as soon as you have a government you reduce freedom as soon as you have any kind of societal rules or anything like that you reduce freedom now granted reduction of those freedoms to me is justified in some instances for example i shouldn't have the freedom to randomly shoot an automatic weapon all around my all around me as as i walk around because that's lowering the chances that someone near me might be alive and therefore reducing their right it's Im imposing my own freedom on their rights and and my freedom ends where their rights begin so i'm trying desperately to wake up here it's uh, it's almost one o'clock in the afternoon i really should be awake eh, whatever so anyway um, but I, I hear these arguments like, oh, well, in a stateless society, you know, um, 
we would have independent arbiters, and we would be able to hash out these problems in ways other than just using violence. And the fact of the matter is, is that we can do that right now. Um, violence is the ultimate enforcement, certainly, but it is not the only enforcement. Um, there are lots of other recourses for 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 resolving conflict um, within a, a state, stated stated state a society with a state, uh, whatever. Um, like I said, I'm not well read on this, so the terminology is going to get all fucked up. I'm just saying how I feel. But um, I, I get this argument. Well, we we would have you know independent arbiters, and instead of sending someone to jail, we could you know shut off their utilities by calling up the utility company and saying, "Look, this is a bad person." Well, what if the utility per company doesn't want to comply with that? Or, before you even get there, what if the person says, no, fuck that judge, I don't want to be with that judge? What if I say, um, you know, my neighbor is doing something to piss me off, and I tell my neighbor, you know, don't stop doing that, we can't resolve the conflict on, w between us, so I say, well, let's go to an arbiter. Let's go to an independent judge of some kind, and they will solve it. I want to go to Judge Judy, and he says, no, fuck Judge Judy, she's a bitch. I can't stand that hoe. Let's go to um, that dude who used to be a referee. I can't remember his name. That guy, let's go to that judge, because he's way cooler, and I like him a lot. And I, How do we resolve that conflict? You can't. Um, you would have to have, you would then have to have, like, some sort of second secondary arbiter to determine which one of us makes the better, you know, it, I don't know, I, I just see it as such a weak argument, um, and, uh, I guess my arguments are much better because I'm not really making much of a point, but, um, I, I guess my thing is, is that a lot of the arguments that I see from, from the kind of anarchist side, um, tend to not carry much weight, and they're generally more appeals to emotion than they are any kind of valid argument. And appeals to emotion are just fine. Um, but they're not going to carry much weight with me or many other people. Uh, I actually don't mind appeals to emotion at all. I think they're perfectly valid, um, if because emotion is such a big part of our life. Uh, and that's a tangent that I'm not... Uh, why am I getting into that? I don't know. I should not do that. So let's let's move on. The point is, though, that uh, this idea that violence, that, that since these, these entities, uh, these state entities use violence, they're somehow evil or terrible or whatever, um, is, is a poor framing of, of, of the state of things. Um, violence is not the only recourse and it is not the most oft-used recourse. Um, in fact, uh, most people comply with the rules because they are in line with societal views, unfortunately. Um, or they're just apathetic to whatever. But, you know, you, a, a lot of people seem to think that there would be a magical end to all these various problems that we have, uh, just by getting rid of the government, because the government's this big bad thing that uses force. And um, I don't think that you would get rid of it. You, you know, it would end up being, it could end up being the exact same thing, just different people behind the wheel. And I, I guess that's really my, my thing, is, is that I think uh, the problems uh, that, that, that people have with the state and with various other um, governmental in entities uh, are, are, are problems that run deeper than a system of government. Gov government gov uh -huh. Can I talk? No. System of governance. So, I, I fail to how, uh, understand how getting rid of, of the state would end up resolving those issues. And I guess that's all I have to say. But I'll, I'll, I'll throw the last caveat in there of, of I, I am all about freedom, and, and while 100% um, anarchy is not 
something that I could go for a, a huge reduction in the size of government is. And um, so while we may not have the same destination, we're all me and the anarchists and the libertarians and so on and so forth are at least heading in the same direction. That's all I have to say. But And, and, and those are, the points I bring up are just points that I've always had a problem with. And that's all I have to say. Peace.